we're here with a lieutenant from a law enforcement agency who's also the president of the Professional Peace Office Association. And we're here to talk about not only the upcoming election, but the vital ballots that we need to vote on. Welcome. Welcome, Brian Moriguchi. What is your position on Prop 62 and Prop 66? Well, Prop 62 is to repeal the death penalty, and Prop 66 is to fix the death penalty. Uh, we believe that the death penalty needs to be fixed, but not abolished. The death penalty is reserved for the worst of the worst. Very few people get the death penalty, but the worst of the worst in society deserve the death penalty. 66 fixes the death penalty and what's wrong with it. And there are a lot of things wrong with the current death penalty. I think everyone out there agrees that it's not working. But we shouldn't eliminate it, we should fix it. And that's the difference between Prop 62 and Prop 66. Prop 66 gives them an attorney right away. Uh, it changes the housing uh, model. Uh, right now, they basically get to live in their own apartment, in their own cell, by themselves. And that's very, very costly to the taxpayers. Uh, Prop 66 will change that process. It also requires those on death row to, uh, to do uh, victim restitution. They must work. They must pay back those that they harmed. That's an important component. But the biggest the biggest value of Prop 66 is that it, it eliminates the wasted time in the appeal process that defense attorneys take advantage of deliberately to extend the, the time period that these people spend in prison instead of carrying out what, what the law says and what a jury who heard the case voted unanimously that these people should be put to death. And that's why the system needs to be fixed serial killer that was going for almost three decades, which is a trial that I covered. He was known as the Grim Sleeper. This person took six years to get to trial. Not only that, the trial took about six months. The final month and a half was whether he should get the death penalty or not. All this is taxpayers' money. All this is destroying the lives of the victims' family members. This is holding up law enforcement's time. There was homicide detectives in that trial throughout those six years, waiting to get to trial, they had to go to the pre-arraignments. Then we also have got them in that courtroom every day for six months, and then a month and a half to discuss whether he should get life or death. These lawyers are getting money, the prosecutors, everybody, the, the de public defenders, and there's not just one, there's three. And then after that, he gets to death row. Then there's this process of another five years to get a lawyer to see about it's one long mess. It's a breakdown. One of the things that Prop 66 does is it assigns an attorney to the accused immediately. Right now, the accused or convicted are not given an attorney for as long as five years. That, that's not only unfair to that individual, because if he's innocent, he shouldn't spend five years in prison if he's innocent. But it's also not fair to the, the, the victims and the justice system. From an economical standpoint, what is more cost effective, having a death penalty or not? This is probably one of the most common uh, mis misinterpretations uh, from the opposition of the death penalty. They claim that it is cheaper to put somebody in prison for life instead of uh, applying the death penalty. And that's not true. The real cost is in the incarceration, the housing of these inmates, the guards that we have to pay for, the medical expenses, when they reach old age, the medical care that we have to give these people who live life in prison is far more expensive. If the death penalty was to stay in place, what is to prevent an innocent person, wrongly convicted person, being executed? In the history of California, there's never been an innocent person put to death. So let's start there. That appeal process is put in place to ensure that we do not execute innocent people. So. Let's be clear on that because some people, obviously nobody wants an innocent person to die. Uh, but it, it, there is a bit of hypocrisy when we consider other areas that we do allow innocent people to die. For example, uh, alcohol and drug use results in thousands of innocent people dying every year. But we've legalized a lot of that, alcohol in particular. Driving. We allow 17-year-old kids to drive a two-ton machine around, which does end up in thousands of people dying every year, yet we allow that. So we have other areas in society where innocent people, thousands of innocent people, die because of decisions made by society to allow that behavior. Now let's go back to the death penalty. Zero innocent people have died in California 
from the death penalty. And it's because we have an extensive appeal process to ensure that innocent people are not wrongly uh, executed. When people are considering how they're going to vote on Prop 62 and 66, they have to understand a no on 62 means they want a death penalty for the worst of the worst. A yes on 66 means they want to fix the death penalty, mend it, don't end it. 